Here's a couple of things you can do before you go fishing for the very first time. This is Fishing 101 for Beginners. This video will not discuss how to tie lines and sinkers and target specific fish and any of the general tackle you might need to target fish. I will make different videos of basic tackle you need and all of that special goodies. But this is a very important video before you go buy anything and before you decide fishing. This will aid you and help you to decide what to buy, when to buy it, and not to waste your money because fishing is expensive. Now, first things first, you must answer a couple of questions to yourself. Am I going to fish? Because I'm on holiday and I want to experience fishing and it looks fun. Am I going to stay close to where I fish? This is not salt water, fresh water, any kind of fishing. Am I stay there and I want to go fish regularly every weekend, every time I get an opportunity. It's going to be a hobby for me, it's going to be fun. And third of all, I'm going to go fish competitively. I want to do it as a very important and passionate sport and maybe get my colors I, uh, hint hint i don't have my colors <laughs> i'll still maybe consider getting it it's just a lot of work and hats off to the people that actually have it they know a lot and it's amazing speaking to them i'm a fishing noob i'm new to ocean fishing but i've been fishing a very long time since i've been in diapers i've got photos to prove it anyway so if you're on holiday and you fish or you want to go fishing, consider getting a fishing guide. Now, rather than spending money on fishing gear that's expensive, get a fishing guide. The fishing guide will basically take you out and you'll catch your first fish. Let's say it's deep sea fishing or shore fishing or even at the lakes. They know where the, the fish are, they know the location, uh, they know the spots where to go and how to target certain fish. So rather have that experience, catch the fish, have fun, and don't waste a lot of money on fishing gear that you might just not use ever again. Secondly, if you're staying somewhere and you know you're going to live there and you want to go fishing and start fishing for the first time, buy tackle gear that's affordable. Don't go get the best stuff. It's not necessary to get the best top-notch things um, to catch your first fish. Buy what you can afford. And as you grow and progress, you can upgrade as you learn new things. Always go to your local tackle shop, ask them for advice. What fish you could target in the area you're living in. And um, what tackle they have to support you in catching that fish. When you want to go fish for the first time, before you bought your things, Go and see if there is a local guide that does educational fishing trips. He will give you the right information on how to target certain fish, how to handle the fish safely for you as the person catching the fish and also for the fish to handle it properly if you want to catch it at least if it's not sized. And also we will basically tell you how to cast and tie on the sinkers and so on. It will give you all the necessary information so that you'll be able to go out on your own and catch your very first fish with no one helping you. That also said, you can ask him what rods and reels does that specific person that knows the area would suggest you buying and then you can go to the tackle shop and tell him, I want this, 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 I fish to this with my guide, he likes it, he knows how to Use it, he taught me how to use it, and this is what he prefers to fish with. Anyway, always wear protective gear. Hat, if you do have sunglasses, put sunscreen on. I am burned because I forgot my sunscreen. It's not safe. Every once in a while, maybe, but don't always go out and get burned. It gets hard and sore, and it's not very pleasant. Always have a fishing license with you, obviously by law you're required to have one, and yeah, just have fun. Remember, 
fishing is a passion. I enjoy fishing. I'd like everybody experience the joy of catching your first fish. That is a feeling you will never ever forget. Lastly, if you have any other questions you'd like me to answer them, comment below and also subscribe to this channel. It will help me a lot and if I can monetize it one day, I could maybe do this as a job. Because I love fishing, I like sharing information and yeah, maybe I can teach you a thing or two. I normally go out with people that know how to fish and as they teach us, me, I show you guys and you guys learn with me. I'm fishing noob, I'm new to the ocean, ocean fishing, but I've got many years of experience with catching bass and carp because I used to stay inland. I'll make some freshwater videos for you guys if you'd like to see. Also, I'd make some videos in the rivers catching bass if you'd also like to see that. Now, general things you need to go fishing in the ocean water now is a rod bucket, sand spike, tackle box, cooler box for your bait and for water to keep hydrated, as well as a fishing rod, line and a reel. That's the basic things. In your tackle box you have pliers because sometimes your fish have teeth and you might remove the, 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 the hook out of their mouth without getting cut. Um, or they swallowed it, so it makes life a bit easier. Cotton, put cotton on your bait, on the hooks. Or we see sinkers and hooks and swivels. Now, I'll make a video showing you how to use these things, how to tie knots and stuff. I've made videos in the past, so if you're going to go scroll down, look at my, my YouTube channel, you'll find a couple of things. If you want specific videos over specific topics, I'll make them as well. So, that being said, that's a basic setup for fishing in the ocean. Um, it's very basic. There's so many types of fishing. There's lure fishing, there's catching shads, there's drop shotting for cabalio, there's bucktails for leerfish. There's actually so many topics. So, um, just, just a general thing to go catch edibles. I'll list everything you need below. They're all fishing tips. So you can't spend too much money, but just enough to get you started and have fun in the ocean. I'll also make a video for fresh water, what you need for fresh water fishing, as well as bass fishing. Bass fishing is also a whole other chapter with a lot of rods and reels and baits and lures. It's endless. If you, if you started fishing and you enjoy it so much, trust me, you will have money, no money, for anything else, because fishing gear is expensive. So make sure you buy the right equipment for the right spot. And I think that's that, guys. Um, there's no fishing content here. Um, it's just me chatting and trying to share a bit of information and making sure you guys have the right stuff before you go spend money and before you actually go fishing. So if you do go catch a fish, post it. Enjoy it. Have fun. If it's big enough, eat it. If you don't want to eat it, that's your very first fish. Take a photo. I always support catch and release and I think it's a good thing to do. I've talked a lot in this video, in one long consistent video and yeah if I've missed something comment below I'll answer your questions and yeah enjoy sight lines. I think I, I covered most of the things. Um, yeah I'm a fishing noob, I make fishing content. I hope this was insightful. Are you still here? You can you can skip the video now. Go watch one of my other videos that's actually got some fishing action. You're welcome to. You've made it this far. I hope you subscribe. And so my share it to other people as well so they can also learn how to fish. And support my channel. Are you still here? It's not necessary for you. I said most of what I want to say. You can really skip. Go watch one of my other videos.
Bye. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.